Hi, Dr. Gary here on the road. We sell dental practices nationwide. We are dental practice brokers. Today's topic is, or the entitled the title to this topic is, how one conversation with buyer and seller over the phone completely transformed the financial offer. We'll talk about what happened. So as you know, we're in 28 states now. We have 10 employees and we have been doing this for 13 years. I was a dentist for 25. We have uh, two CPA accountants uh, with our team and that makes a big difference. Operations director, marketing director, five development acquisition people. So I think we present something a bit different than the average broker. Also, we're available to you every single day except Christmas and Easter. Those are the only two days we take off. We answer the phone every day. So please give us a call from nine, from 8 a.m. East Coast time till 9 p.m. We will answer the phone and we will talk to you. Everything you're about to hear is for entertainment purposes only. This is not legal or business advice. Our phone number is 201-663-0935 and our website is dentalpracticeguide.com or nationwide dentalpracticebrokers.com. Give us a call. Be happy to uh, explain everything about our services to you. All right. Now, if you're thinking about selling to a, a private uh, or to a DSO, uh, we can help you there because we deal with them on a weekly basis. We know who the strong ones are, the weak ones are, who's having financial trouble, what our experience with them post-closing was. We know a lot about them. So we are here to help you. Please call us on that. And if you just want advice, give us a call. So often they will pay our commission, so there's no commission to the seller. And if you work with us as brokers, we can often get your legal fees reimbursed upon successful closing. So depending on certain criteria, but if you have a, you know, a large practice over 1.5, 1.6, we can help you there with those legal fees. So give us a ring. So today's uh, conversation between the DSO and the seller was like life changing. That one conversation, the DSO was going to come in. We're just verbally going over things because we were like pre before letter of intent. And the owner was able to communicate in such a way of the value that not only the owner, but more so the team. In other words, the office is branded. It's not really tied to the doctor because it's more of an absentee office. And because it's not strictly tied to the, the owner, who wasn't a dentist, it was absentee, we were able to sway the buyer who's a DSO in a different direction. They had preconceived ideas by going over the numbers of what the practice value was, you know, the EBITDA, the holdback and all that. But after that conversation, they did actually, they actually did not give a dollar amount to the seller because they thought they had to rethink things, that the office is an entity amongst itself and the brand of the office and its absentee was enough to perpetually bring new patients in and it wasn't dependent upon the doctor. So we were able to do that. So it's merely, and what I'm trying to tell you is that merely a conversation sometimes in the proper presentation, along with the broker, we've had, we were a big filler in of information and we were able to guide the conversation, something the buyer isn't always able to do because we could be from the outside looking in. So we're able to guide the conversation such that the DSL looked at it in a different way and they didn't present their offer this evening. They wanted to rethink it because of more value of the office brand itself than the doctor who operates in that office. I don't see this happen that often. This is generally done in an absentee practice. So it had great value. The value was such that there's an emotional factor in these deals that you've got to understand. Now, the broker myself can guide the conversation in a certain way because I'm like the third party. I understand where the buyer is coming from, understand where the seller is coming from. I'm able to guide that conversation sometimes, and that's what we are successful on doing today. 
And then at the same time, we had the owner, absentee owner, jump in there and explain how his brand or her brand is what keeps the practice going. It's not necessarily the doctor. So we're able to achieve that. And I was really happy about that. So I'll keep you posted um, as things progress. And we will, uh, you know, we'll go from there. All right. We have new information coming all the time. New practices for sale. So please, uh, you know, listen, hit the subscribe button and you'll be able to get this information. All right. And we're more than happy to talk to you, explain everything at any time. Thank you so much. Bye now. Remember to hit the subscribe button. Thank you, bye.